come here to Massachusetts ahead of Super Tuesday. Because this is about saving America. This is about all of us. I spoke with Nikki Haley one on one tonight. We covered a wide range of topics, including the elephant in the room. You've yet to win a primary contest. Will you stay in the race after Super Tuesday? Well, we've only had a handful of states, and I think that if you look at what we've done, to be able to get 30 to 40 percent is no small amount. As long as 70 percent of Americans are saying, I don't want Donald Trump or Joe Biden, we're going to continue to be an alternative. Nikki Haley holding firm despite the odds. Her campaign has touted her ability to win a general election against Joe Biden, but now a recent New York Times poll suggests Donald Trump would also beat Biden in November. What does that say to you and is that concerning to you? It's that New York Times poll. I know which one you're talking about. It shows Donald Trump squeaks by, but it shows I defeat Joe Biden by 10 points. We defeated a dozen of the fellas. I just got one more I got to catch up to. Haley rallying a crowd in Needham saying there's still room for her brand of politics in today's GOP. But you'll see at the rallies. These are massive crowds of people who are not anti Trump. They're pro America. Haley recently picked up two major endorsements, two senators, Susan Collins from Maine and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. But it may not be enough. Longtime Republican leader Senator Mitch McConnell now saying he does not see a future for himself in today's GOP, where it's go MAGA or go home. Uh, you have been critical recently of Donald Trump. How do you bring everyone within the Republican Party in your tent? Well, the difference is, you know, he said anyone who supports me is barred permanently from MAGA. That's not what you do if you're candidate for president. It's about bringing people in. You don't hear me criticize any other Republicans. You don't hear me criticize any Americans because a leader doesn't do that. And tonight, the former U.N. ambassador says that she is not interested in another Trump cabinet position or even VP.